Hey there, so this video talks about what we do from language perspective when we have a whole thing and we break it into certain parts. For example, yesterday I was in the car with my two kids and I had just one cookie, but both girls were hungry. So what I had to do in that case I tried to find the perfect half, no, which is not the perfect half here. Um, of the two cookies. Note the difference. We say one half, and this is with F, and we say two halves, which is then spelled with a V. Okay? Now, just imagine I had four kids. What I would have to do in that case, um, I would have to end up with four quarters of the same thing. So what we are going to talk about in this lecture, obviously, as you can see here, is we talk about fractions. Okay? So fractions are always a part of a whole, or some parts of a whole. Okay? So if we have the fraction one half, we call the upper part of the fraction the numerator and the lower part of the fraction the denominator. You can remember these words easily because there is like the word number in here and there is the word nom which is like noun in here and this helps us to memorize. So um, the first one where the word number is inside that counts and the other one gives the part of the whole. Okay? The thing here in the middle is then called the fraction bar. And it's like the mathematical operation of a division. Okay, so what we need to look at now is just how do we say these fractions in English? So how do we actually say them? This one is easy, we already had it here. Halves, you already know the second one as well. So this is one quarter. You could also say one fourth. This is possible as well. Now, and that leads us to the next part. Um, from this number on, we just say this, put a dash in between, and then we add the word plus the th. Okay, one fifth. Next one would then be one sixth, this being an x. Okay, so this is a one sixth. Now, the last thing I need to just make sure that you know, if this here wasn't a one, but for example a two, what we need to do here is we put a plural s. Okay, so we end up with two sixths. Don't forget the plural s if the numerator is more than one, because then we have plural. Okay, let's practice fractions in the exercises.